Hey guys, this is Minister Q, and I'm back with another video. I did want to draw this dream that I had. I wanted to make it simple and make it look nice. So, um, I remember before I went out of town to the uh, September Solemn Assembly gathering to pray for the nations that I had a short dream. And the dream was... People walking into it was a line, and you know, people were moving and they were going up, and the line was moving quick, right? And I wanted to draw a little thing off to the side right here. So, I was it was okay. So, first of all, it wasn't a dream, the Lord is correcting me, it's not God, you're right, because. I, my spirit man was out of my body when this happened. And uh, there was, the best way I can say, I don't know if you, you guys have ever seen that projector. Um, and it's just like a scene on the wall, you know, in color picture and everything. You know, you place something under it, you see it. So I'm looking over to my right. As I uh, am laying down, I'm looking over to my right. And in the spirit, this scene pops up. And um, after this part of the dream, excuse me, I'm kind of laying back in my bed. I'm sitting here watching people, very short scene of people walk into this room. There's the people lining outside the door and they're waiting. There's a line and up ahead, there's a door, right? So if I could uh, draw that, God help me because I'm drawing through the, the video. Everybody is in line and they're they're standing at a door waiting for it to be opened. There's a line. And let's just say that everybody is just like oh my god, right? And everybody's freaking out. And then also their sorrow because there was some people who was in this line and they were quiet. Nobody was saying anything. Nobody was happy and joyous or anything like that. And I wanted to show a close up of that door that you see up here. Okay. Now, this is the person getting to the door and I could hear in, in the dream. I'm not a dream. Sorry, God. I'm sorry. It's not a dream. Make a decision. Make a decision. You knew that when you walked through this, this door. And I could sense. I was sitting there looking at this. And what I, what I got and what I, I felt telepathically is. You just automatically know in your spirit. It just automatically speaks to you. The spirit around. It was just like. The people that were going in here obviously was making the right decision, but they knew that by making the right decision, it costed them their very life. And everyone was aware of that decision, but they wanted to keep their decision. And they knew that going in this room was death. As I watched all these people. Taking their steps going in. It came to the last person. And it was almost. I was so close to this person. Like going in. It was like I was next. Did I see myself next? No. Did I feel it? No. But as the person like went. I felt myself like a little bit like. Tug and go forward. Like to stand in that person's place. And that person was going to the door. And I was next standing right here by this door. And I woke up. And then I heard um, about the, what is it, Solemn September Assembly. And then I just shrugged it off when my roommate told me about it. And then God gave me a dream that night and was uh, showing me that there was somewhere I needed to get to. That was very important that I needed to get there. 
that um, getting there is, is very important. And I saw in the back of me, uh, Lord God helped me to draw what I'm uh, mentioning right now. My name is Jesus Christ. Amen. As I was um, on my way, I knew that this place was not in Austin, Texas. And I knew that I was on my way to this place. And uh, I needed to get there. It was a little bit of ways away, but I got there. And uh, I got there. And I made it. And behind me was like Tom's rolling in. Really dark, hideous, crazy Tom's. And it was catching up with me. And uh, in this dream, I didn't get a chance to tell you guys this one other thing uh, that I saw. I saw like like the gay movement. Like that was like I saw people like legalizingly getting married everywhere. Like it was just like it was released like um, all over the world. Like wherever it is not legal at, it was legal, and it was just easy for two gay people to just go get married. Okay, I don't have anything against gay people. I'm just saying that it's wrong, and I don't, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I have a lot of uh, people I know I'm friends with and everything like that, okay, um, that I know. And uh, I don't want you to, you to think that I have anything against that. God loves everybody. He just wants us away from sin, okay? We're trying to break down the real reasons why no one's trying to give you uh, a whole bunch of smoke up your skirt and just talking crazy. We're really trying to get your soul saved here. So this is the scene. I want to hold it up to you because I was it's on a pillow and there was guillotines in this room. OK, it was obviously to know that the line was moving pretty, pretty quick. It was just like make a decision. You know, make your decision. What are you going to do? And uh, as the line was moving up, you know, there was nobody trying to run and escape. Thank God. Just make a decision. And that's what it was. So um, these dreams are not fake. Other people having these dreams, please reconsider your life for Christ. Uh, please get to know the Lord, you know, and then the best way you can, the best way you know how. Find somebody, you know, start praying, start doing something. Repenting, write your prayers down, talk to God. Do self-checks, look at your life and go, man, I'm very argumentative. I'm unforgiving, I'm bitter. And write it down and pray and go, God, I am this, 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 and this. And I need you. Write it down. Wash me in the blood of Jesus Christ. Forgive me of my sin. Bless me to be a different person. Give me a new heart. Give me a new mind. Teach me your ways. Teach me the word of God I don't understand. And fill me with the Holy Ghost. You keep praying that, I guarantee he'll do it, okay? All right. Be blessed. I'm going to put this thing down. It's hurting my hands. All right.